Hello guys, welcome back. I am Sarimo the Bears. This is Station Years. Let's play Lulan episode 49. So, first things first, I'm still in quarantine for next, uh, I think, seven or eight days because I'm finally home at home. And I will just try to record more of uh, my gameplay, like Station Years and other games. And I wanted to do some kind of a not experiment, maybe some kind of a upgrade over here and I was trying to do it a few weeks ago but I had some major issues with, uh, with the game, with station years because to be honest I'm always trying to break the game so I can't blame the developers I can blame myself only and station years had so many updates in last I would say three weeks or maybe a month so I will try to cover as much as possible but I'm on a very slow internet connection right now so uploading uh, videos to my YouTube channel takes crazy amount of time so I will try to do my best guys alright so what I wanted to do exactly Right, so let's drop these uh, mining belts somewhere and let's do some upgrades here. So what do I need? I think I need a wrench. Oh shoot, I need to do more mining. <laughs> because there is so much silver. I would never say something like I don't like silver in real life because basically that's money right but in station years why do i have so much here all right so let's drop this belt as well just like that what this i think this is a new model i can remember there was a dirt canister in the mining belt like the visible mining uh dirt canister so now it is so i like it so let's do this, this uh, very easy upgrade. So, I'm back. Every time when I say so, or maybe, or or even or, <laughs> if you are an adult, you can take a shot. But if you are not an adult, maybe you should take a shot like a glass of milk, maybe. I don't know. So maybe this is enough because I would like to have some kind of a SDB hopper in this hole this is the plan but I'm not sure if it is going to work as I would like to have it working so let's try it my videos are not scripted guys so when I decide to build something I build it Unpre more more most of the time unprepared and this is what you get where should I place it maybe somewhere here or somewhere here because there is like the the SDB hopper or the hopper it has a little bit bigger inbox so I'm not sure if I am if I would be able to place down the shoot so let's do it yeah i will do it here all right what did i do what did i place <laughs> hand drill to deconstruct all right let's do it again because i don't want a sdb hopper i want sdb hopper advanced i do have the stack of uh, iron sheet so hand drill to deconstruct and welding torch to weld it all right let's weld it nice and we have it and of course i did waste some time so i need to build it during the night i don't like it but what can i do so next thing what i need i need again the the mining drill just like that is always making some kind of a noise in my backpack 
so I need a very tiny hole here oh now I see I don't have uh, the ore for 50 G uh, or mining or I don't know how to explain it but you know what I mean guys so oh shoot this is very this mining is very slow I should have like 20 or maybe 30 stacks of uh, silver already <laughs> but I don't all right so I will need a shoot and I will need some cables so turn off the drill I will drop the mining bell just like that and let's build the shoots right so what do I need I need I think the the corner shoot just like that then the window shoot I do like the window shoots a lot because oh why why I can't place it what is there placement requires support what that's not right what about here Hmm, this is this is some kind of a very strange bug. And now I can place it? What? I can place normal shoot, but I can't place uh the window shoot or, or the other shoot. I, I have no idea. Who cares, right? Maybe Right, so this is straight shoot and this is the window shoot oh the window shoot takes two okay two shoots all right all right so now I do understand it's not a bug I'm sorry guys I'm really really sorry so we want window shoot window shoot then we want a corner shoot just like that and window shoots all the way of course I don't have enough oh so this was changed as well so normal shoot is just a one shoot and the window shoot is uh, two shoots all right so I'm going to remove these window shoots and I will use the, the straight shoots they are cheaper like a 50% cheaper or I would say half price compared to window shoots so let's do my best just like that and like these shoots are going to be underground anyway so who cares if they are window shoots or normal shoots so one one there and I need one corner shoot just like that perfect so I think I need to lay some cables but not the cable as you are thinking about <laughs> just the cable and how can I do it maybe let's try this way so this guy here this guy there maybe T section just like that and I can go straight to the surface or I can go underground but I think I'm going to straight to the surface because then I can at least wealth everything so maybe just like this just like that come on there is just too many options <laughs> and let's go up to the surface because then I can cover the hole and let's go around this edge I would say just like this and just like that so I do have plenty of cables that's perfect so it will be somewhere here and now I need to cover the hole and this should work more or less but I think I need to find my terrain manipulator because I have absolutely no idea where I have it 
Now maybe I think it is going to be easier to print a new one because I have no idea where it is. So terrain manipulator, alright, I do have the resources and I will need a battery for it. So let's take um, this one. <laughs> right, we are back. So terrain mani manipulator is almost finished. Perfect, I have it, I need a battery in it, and now I need to get a third canister. And the third canister is in my mining belt, and the mining belt is here. So how can I do it fast? Maybe just like this, maybe, I don't know, let's see. So terrain mini blazer and I need the dirt canister. Like a few players or I would say few people they they were like oh man can how can you cover the the holes in uh, stationers and this is exactly the tool you need. This is the terrain manipulator and even I am forgetting sometimes about it like we have it in the game so if you do have some kind of a holes in your base or around your base or you want to cover your base like to make it uh, like a, some kind of an underground base then you can use this great tool like I love it so we can finally cover everything in, in mud or in dirt if you need or if you desire and this is how to do it all you need is just the, the terrain manipulator and the dirt which you will collect or mine with your mining drill and I would say this looks fine or fi finish 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 <laughs> right let's cover these holes perfect and next thing what I need to remember all the time I can't build my SDB files everywhere because of the stupid storm stupid storm but I do like the storm a lot so you just need to be careful where you have your stuff otherwise it will get blown away like I didn't find Amy yet I was trying to use Amy again after the first storm which hit uh, my Lulan base and I can't find her. I, I know she's somewhere outside but I just can't find her. So let's do this crappy thingy here. So a little bit of welding. Just like this just like that we do have this thing weld it maybe I will weld it a little bit more around this SDB hopper oh no 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 don't 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 even think about it that you are going to jump into my furnace no you can't you shouldn't so let's do this so let's do that and I would say SDB hopper is more or less in place where I want to have it. Alright, what's next? I would like to make it not automated, but I would like to... I want to be the guy who decides if the stuff from the, the hopper goes inside the furnace or not. So... I think I need maybe a logic writer switch just like that so let's go back to my electronic printer I will print one and we will see if it works or not in oh shoot <laughs> can I find it no Right, let's try without any typing. Logic 
io this is exactly what i want next thing what i have to mention guys i have to speak a little bit slower because many of you don't know that i do have an asthma and i'm suffering sometimes uh, while i'm trying to record the videos and i'm finally at home and I would say the home country has different weather, different air, different humidity, so I'm still fighting a lot to talk, I would say properly, or without choking myself. So I'm sorry for that. So let's do this, let's do that. Another T section little bit of screwdriving <laughs> and all right there is only one hopper and we want to open or close i think so let's do a small test i will remove this shoot just like that i will drop it there all right let's turn this puppy on and i did this and i need a little bit of cable just like that all right so sdb hopper should run oh okay it is well <laughs> okay <laughs> this looks so funny look guys i will drop it there it will speed it out and it looks like welded but it is not that's the funny part right so let's try something else i will drop a frame into it just like that and we have it here perfect so this is going to be shoot window perfect so what can we do with it now it is on so let's turn it off I would like to smelt some steel. Let's get some very, very warm air in this furnace, just like that. And we need a little bit of iron. I need one more stack of iron. So we need 150 iron and 50 coal, copper, gold, lead nickel where the hell is the coal silver uranium what oh the coal is at the end okay do i have any coal i should have coal somewhere oh it is here all right all right i understand all right so i need just 50 coal so basically one stack I do have the coal, I will drop it here, just like this, let's take a look on this temperature, let's get a little bit more, we will make it hot again, just like this, and this is not a fuel, this is a very very hot gas inside the furnace, so we have it, and if I will press this button, we will get all the resources inside this furnace and at the end we should get steel so i need to wait for everything inside to melt down and we will get steel so we will have 150 plus 50 we will get 200 g of steel hydrocarbons yes All right and we have 200 g of steel boom piece of cake very easy smelting so if i don't want to smelt anything i will use this dial and i will vent oh toxins detected all right so everything is leaving the furnace or through this chimney and that's it guys so this is just a beginning of something i would say funny and um, i will show you maybe next episode so guys so thank you very much for watching 
I will see you in the next one. This is the way.